Gold can do consumer sentiment. Uh, what I like with gold at the moment is really an intraday long. Uh, I'm looking intraday because if you just look there, okay, and you look to the left, you're hitting on to this support. There's various rejection zones here. So therefore, that gives you a uh, long side impetus. So nice and easy uh, intraday. And I'm looking for early exits on this. There isn't a lot of margin to the upside. So I'm looking to kill that 2021 uh, area. Just check your stochastic oscillator. You can see that you don't want to be shorting at this point. If you're taking a new entry, if you're long term shorter, then you'd probably be OK. But any shorts are going to need to come higher up here. OK, that is where you want to look to the short side. There's far more room to do it. And it's far more feasible because you need that pop up to get short. You can't get short unless you pop up to the upside because, you know, you're just going to sell into a place where people are buying. Mark Russell, what's your thoughts on silver? Hi, Mark. Great to have you again. I think I've seen you around. I've done gold there nice and easy. It's just a reshort up top. Silver, I called brilliantly. I did a video on this. Um, I called it short all around here. Uh, once there and again here. Uh, I would exit that. Or at least what you could do is drop your time frame and put a, uh, some guys call it a trailing stop. Um, you could put an in the money stop loss about there. So in other words, if it comes up, you'll be out for gains. Um, <clears throat> because I think you might trail down. But if you took it short a lot higher, if you took it short like here, you may as well kill it for gains. A okay, longer term, if I check my weekly, you are thundering down. I can't see any major support until here. So I think you might get there. But nonetheless, I would take your gains off the table because you do have various zones of rejection. Or at least, as I say, put that, um, that stop order in so that if the price does rebound to those key MAs, early key MAs, um, you will be out for gains. So thanks, Mark, for that question. That's my opinion. Um, I wouldn't reshort unless you can really come up here. Okay. You need to come higher than you are and you need to get back near these moving averages. Use that as a gauge for price and trade in trend. That's what I say. Of course, we cover all of that inside Gold Streak, um, as you may know. Um, so that is silver. That was a good question. There's a lot of guys coming in. If you can hit the boost button and get on board at this link for free, it will help you a lot. Uh, join the Discord if you want as well. Has anyone got any other questions? Mark, no problem at all. I hope that um, that helps you out. Um, if there's, as I say, if there's anything else you really have to ask, then just let me know. Um, I can I can cover whatever it is. Um, so uh, yeah, so let's move on to uh, another asset. Sorry, I was just talking to a PA of mine. Uh, one I'm training at the moment just to do a couple of things for me. Mark, thanks for the follow. If you are watching this, guys, just hit the follow button and you can see a lot more. Um, oil, there'll be a lot of guys talking about oil at the moment. Um, I think you're getting a lackluster push to the upside. There's not a lot of margin. If you're going to buy it, do it very lightly. I'm much more interested in a larger fall that will take you under there. I think you may get there at some point. I'm not going to sit and guess. I don't care for guessing. If we get to that price, um, then I'm going to then I'm going to take it about sort of here. If you get there and when you get there, um, it's got to go at least that low because otherwise, if you don't let it get to that point, you will be taking worse market value. You do have price rejection right here along that 200 MA. We did look long there before, but it just looks weak and it's dropping down. Um, so, so yeah, let's move on to another chart. Has anyone got any other questions just to check back? Oh, we've got a few questions. That's really great. Thanks, guys. Um, various uh, ones there. So... First one we'll pick a USD JPZ. I'm not sure if that was a typo. Dollar yen, <laughs> perhaps you mean. Um, we've got your award. Ah, there. Yeah. I think you followed me for a while, actually. Um, I've noticed. That's great. 
Um, okay. Sorry, just talking to someone. All right. So let's go for it then. We've got dollar yen. Let's cover. Uh, and Chris as well. Great to see you. I wondered where you'd gone. <laughs> I was waiting for you. Um, dollar yen. I like it um, short there. Okay. You can see you've got early rejection. This candle wick's poking up, getting rejected away. Um, I think you'll move lower. It has already started, so I wouldn't short it now. It's a bit too late. If you do re-pop a little bit higher, I would look short up here. Okay, so you would need to get a bounce nearer that 200 NA there. But I would only take that light. Don't go nuts. There's not a lot of margin on your dollar yen. It's a light short at that point. Um, if you're looking to the long side, I would just put your time frames up for a moment. Okay, this to me is just weak movement. It's not going uh, very far. Okay, I think you'll dawdle around like that. Um, if I was to take that long, it would need to be lower. Okay, I would only buy this lower down. I'm not interested at the moment. It's just ugly, basically, the dollar yen. You had the chance to short there and short there and trade it long in between, trade it long there as well. But it's an ugly chart. Um, I really would like it if it just went like that or it just went like that in one go because it will bring us to much more feasible PA zones. So if you can avoid trading it, I probably would, but you can um, take your position slightly. A lot of guys coming in. Welcome. Press the boost. Ask me something. Um, Share my thoughts on your award. So I did an edit as a pick on your award. A lot of people saw it. Um, okay, so your award, you've had a pop up from here. Uh, I said that it would go slightly lower than where it stopped. Okay, so when it bounced there, I said, I don't think that's it. It did go slightly lower. You've come up here. Um, it's too early for me to short that. Okay, because if you swap to the uh, daily, Okay, and we press remove drawings. Um, you can't really, I mean, it looks, the best way to understand it is that that candle wick is coming to here. Okay, the bottom of the candle wick reaches there where price is coming to, but the actual move from peak to fall is that far so i'm going to label these with different colored lines let's go for blue you can see that two things number one that wick is forming meaning there's not a lot of push movement up and number two this line is only you know it's, it's hardly off that bottom there at all okay so I need it higher to short. I need it nearer this line for me to get short because that is too early to sell. You're all, you're still low. Okay, the price is still low in that in in this spectrum. So you need it higher at least. Otherwise, you'll find you short it and it just keeps going up. So it would need to be around here for me if I want to take it short. Okay. So that's my bias on your ord. I would only short 165. I would hold off longs probably until about 1606. Um, Swiss yen, our short time is in the line. Uh, hey, Chris. Chris is an academy member, newly academy member. Um, I hope everything's all right as you're now back. Um, so for our so, – oh, I see what you mean. So you would have – you were basically saying – if you're talking about the second, do you say the second of May is when you went or when it hit? Okay, so the second of May was when you uh, hit your short target. So that would have been there. Um, yeah, your goal would have been so to 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 basically drop your time frame to something like this. And as as we were saying before, you went, you were just looking for those pops if you got them um, to short. Then you would have flipped long. Okay, you would have come up and you can see where I'm going with it. At this point, okay, I, I think you'll I think it's fairly likely you'll rebound away. Um, but I would like to put it put the time frame up first. 
Okay, so this is a short, but I would do it very lightly because you've already had that rejection. Markets are a little bit iffy. Um, it's a short, Chris, basically. It's a short, but it's a light short, and it coincides with what I was just saying on the Euro Ward. If you look at the peak and you look at the bottom of that move, you're not far back up, okay? You're at 15146, and you've come off 149, almost 150, okay? So you've got a lot of room to the upside. So you can short that lightly, or you can hold off and you could take a normal size slightly higher up. Our size, as you'll find inside Gold Streak, is always directly in proportion with where the market is. If it's a higher price, you get short. If it's a lower price, you can get more long. Uh, but you'll never go over a maximum size. Um, it was around 154. Oh, I got it. Okay, I see what you mean. So you, you're basically. Uh, did you take it short? Did you did you set a take profit or anything? Um, I mean, it has been smoked, so maybe you didn't, <laughs> and you've closed it now, and you've come back. Perhaps that would be good. <laughs> I don't know, um, but let me know. Anyone coming in? Smack the boost, okay? Smack that boost. So that's your uh, Swiss yen. Thanks for the suggestion. Um, what you did have, and the reason why I've called an early exit on that pound analysis is because this is weak. Look how weak those candles are. Doesn't look good, so I'm killing off those longs. I'll rebuy lower. I'll rebuy lower if we get there. We just have to see. It was a short up top. I said 127 for a long time. You did get 1268, so not extremely far off, but ideal. Um, all right, got it, got it. Okay, that's a shame, but there's many other trades you can take, of course as you'll probably know. Um, okay, so, yeah, thanks for likes and stuff. Let's go for something else. Uh, we looked at a couple of charts there. Is there anything else people want to look at? I mean, you've got the S&P here. Uh, I would take it lightly short, but my overall bias for more reasonable short zones comes much higher. Okay, Um it's around here. You could have a front runner, a small position, 4220, followed by 4270 for the remainder. That would probably work um, and be ideal. Um, I'll just give it a sec for any questions and then I'll move on. Okay. Right, so we haven't got any questions at this point. Um, I've, uh, yeah, I've covered a lot of charts here. Um, overall bias, I mean, you've got Bitcoin getting slammed completely. Um, so I think you might get a long zone there. Crypto is a HVA, so trade it very lightly. I think you'll probably get a bounce in this area. Front runner first followed by the rest. Same for Ethereum, it's likely. Any other FX pairs, guys? Gold, I have just gone over. It's calming a bit, but, you know, you've got room to go. <coughs> DXY, let's check it over. Um, okay, so your dollar index, it's, it's moving up slightly, but I'm looking at the past three weeks as well. It's not strong, okay? I wouldn't particularly call it a base. If you swap to your monthly, there's far more support underneath. I wouldn't be surprised if you do get to that point eventually. Not straight away. You might find that if you swap to your daily, that candle is fairly strong. You might find you get a continuation up to like here and here before then but i wouldn't say it's a solid base but nonetheless as i say you can use the euro to to uh, trade as well at the same time okay so that's your dixie um not as prolific as as uh, you might think um any other questions guys So yeah, yeah, that that could that could occur. Um, as I say, a lot of the time I'll just use the euro. I don't use the Dixie that much because it just reflects most of what's going on anyway. 
um, uh, okay. So, <coughs> so yeah, uh, dollar cad. Thanks for that. Another question's in. That's good stuff. I'm sure there's new people coming in. So if you do hit the boost, check the link underneath. Okay, that's where we're at at Gold Street Academy. Um, so US dollar CAD, what you've had is, I mean, that is the kind of thing you would need, Chris, on the, um, you would need that on the, the Dixie for really, so it, for it to look solid. Um, for the actual, for this chart in particular, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop down to the daily and you can see that in on the daily, you've got, um, you've got, a really small candle. If I drop my time frames again, okay, that the last sort of 16 hours is just weak. Although it doesn't drop further. So I will just hold off any shorts. Okay, I prefer them higher up. Um, if you swap to daily, it does help. I mean, you do have this here. It's again, it's a lot like the dollar yen, it's quite ugly. I would hold off for risk averse shorts there where this arrow is and that would be my bias because it would trade in line with uh, more or less this okay so a short zone up there would coincide with that pa that peak and this price channel and it would take you above the ma's as well so if you get there eventually that would be ideal for me if it falls, I would look long, but I would do it ever so lightly. I'm not interested in a massive long. Um, if you're more risk averse, you can hold off and let it fall. Again, it coincides with that. That's that's quite a good long zone there, but it would have to be light, okay, at that point. So, yeah, uh, hit the like, get on board. Links under the video, guys. Okay, if you've just come in, that's where you can start with myself. We cover everything like the Academy members have seen in here. Um, is there any other questions anyone has about any chart at all? Um, if you're wondering about the FTSE, you know a lot of guys who follow me do because I trade it a lot. I am going to open a service shortly as well where I'm going to post every trade I'm taking. Um, if that's something you're interested in, let me know. Um, and I can I can share that with you and you can do what you want with those trades. Um, I think you'll get, you've got ideal short zones just before 7,800. Um, I think you probably will get there at this point because of the way the market's going. It looks strong, okay, but you do have minor PA before then. So I am short already anyway, um, and I'm trading within these parameters because the market is really sideways at the moment, um, and it has been for a few days. And often what you find with assets like this is that's, that's pretty much what happens. They do that. It's like algo trading. It's just sideways. So I'll short anything higher and I'll get lightly long anything lower because that area has been touched a few times. Okay. If I press this boost, it will tell me seven people have boosted it. Great. Thanks to the seven who've done that. If you haven't, press it now um, and drop something in. You know, there's nothing I can't cover. There's no chart and no trading question that I'm unable to answer in full. That has never happened. No one's ever come on here and said, well, you know, can you tell me this? And I say, no, sorry, I don't understand. Doesn't happen. Okay. So anything you want to know, just ask it. And we will get going with the answer. So... Has anyone got anything to ask in that case? Um, anything at all? You know, as I say, we're open and ready and we're, we're firing. Um, GJ, please. Sure. Okay. So GJ, um, GJ again weak. You can see there's weak PA. It's hardly pushing. Um, I'm going to use my higher time frames to determine a new PA level. I think you'll get down here, and that's where I'd like it long. One six six or one six seven. It's because that's weak, and you've had your pop. 
you've had your pot to the upside it's weak okay you're using that early pa inference and i'm looking long down here 167 okay so i think there's a chance you could just crumble down you might get slightly higher if you do i'd look short but at the moment hands off similar to the dollar yen i wouldn't uh, trade it at this point because you know you don't have the um you don't have enough profit margin there uh, to get in so good question um anyone else is anyone else um wondering anything <laughs> anything at all doesn't matter what it is or what chart New Zealand dollar you just had a big fall on I like this long this is really where the smart money will trade they'll get long at these key MAs and if you put your high time frame up I can almost guarantee you yeah you're hitting on some level of support and rejection previously that is a long that is my trade of the day it's intraday long I would look for exits there okay at the earliest point of reference the earliest PA exit there uh chris great to hear um pound new zealand someone asked me about you've got a pop okay uh i like it short up here pound new zealand if you can get there that takes us up to 2015 that is your short zone okay so if it keeps coming up i'll get short you might find you can get lightly short, but definitely you're not buying. Price is too high. If you've heard me say Bitcoin long term, your guess is as good as mine. I think there's a place for it in the future, but that is a completely fundamental question. I never trade like that because I don't know. Anything I don't know and can't be back logically over time, I'm not interested in. I would much rather trade the FTSE that's been around for extreme amounts of time then guess what's going to happen with Bitcoin, put it that way. And I suggest everyone else does the same. If you're doing that, you're just taking a gamble on whether it's going to go to the moon in the future. I think there's a good chance of it, but that is an investment based on theory. It's not an investment based on fact, it's theory. Mark, um, probably at some point in the future, I don't know if you're in my Discord or not, you'll probably need to be in there. Um, I don't know if you're in my academy either. Um, you can get the tools to, to do what I'm doing and learn how I'm doing it and get mentored by me. I don't have a date for that, but I will put it out. I know it will help a lot of people um, so you can see what I'm doing. If you can smack the boost, guys, more guys coming in. Fantastic to see everyone. Um, I think we've covered most charts, really, haven't we? Um, so, yeah. How long have we been on? 25 minutes. Um, anything else, guys? Any chart whatsoever? I'll give you a second to type. Um, and it should be should be clear for everyone. Any update on US oil? I did brush on this recently, or just on this stream. Um, I think, you know, again, you've come up here and you're pushing down already. I think in the near term, you might get smaller bounces because of these little PA zones. But longer term, I'm holding off. I would hold off until you beat these lows and then get long. At this point, I'm not interested in oil. It doesn't look pretty as much. If you do pop to the upside again, I think you're going to teeter. I don't think you're going to get anything massive. So oil, I'm not particularly favorable of. Um, I think you might get short 76, but I would much prefer it if it drops under those lows for longs. Don't short it until then. Just just let the market play out. That's what I say. Because you don't have a great short zone. You don't have a short zone here, really, because the price has already come down. You're too late to the party. But you can wait until there's a long zone. And all, no problem. If you're not already, just go and join us in the academy. You can learn all about oil there. <laughs> um, but good question. Thanks. New Zealand yen, I like this. Bunch and bunch and bunches of PA coming to key MAs. This is a really good tech zone. I like it long. Um, 
you know, once you're in the academy, you'll be able to look at any chart and just breeze through it like that. If you want to be a full student of mine as well, let me know. Okay, as I said, Chris is in here and some other guys who are watching are. You can learn everything. I can teach you uh, what I know and the way I trade um, and all sorts. Just join the Discord if you want under there and you can ask me that or join Gold Streak in the Academy and you can, you'll have to go for it in stages, but, you know, basically you might end up costing more pretty much. Um, but New Zealand Yen, that is how it goes. I've done so many other charts. Okay, in the chat box, you'll have to let me know if you've got a question. There's a lot of guys in here. If there's no more questions, then I'll um, just end the stream. Um, so, so, yeah, I think at this point, I think we're basically all good to go. I can't see anything here. Um, okay, so no more questions. That's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Do press the like button. Do let me know if you need any help. Uh, go on my profile. Keep up to date with my trading ideas. Go to http colon double forward slash goldstreak.io if you want to start with myself. Join the Discord. Watch my YouTube. Do it all. There's tons to learn. Trade safe, guys. Don't over leverage and just keep things going the right way don't go mad don't massively invest in your trading account you just need to know what you're doing first and then you can do that thanks for watching guys hope that helps as always i will see you in the next one have a great week